And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Vampires in best of three standard. That's right, we're bringing vampires back. You may have thought that the, all the good vampires rotated out, but we still have some left. So we're gonna go ahead and play some vampires. The main reason to play a vampire deck is this awesome planeswalker right here, Soren Imperious Bloodlord. This is just such a powerful planeswalker with the two pluses and the minus. If you played last format in M20 standard, you really got to um, experience how good this card was. It, it put vampires on the map. It's still in standard though. We still got some vampires. We're, we're gonna be trying it out here. The main thing, uh, the, like our combo with the minus three is we want to be able to have um, the Soren and the Haunt of Hightower in hand. So we got four Haunt of Hightowers to go along with four Sorens to try to maximize our ability to have that combo. You know, get this thing into play right away because whenever it attacks, they have to discard a card. So it's powerful there. And then it can also grow um, whenever any, any cards go to their graveyard for any reason. So it can get very big, very fast. Our new Lord, we don't have the two mana Lord anymore. Now we have a four mana Lord <clears throat> with the Thirsting Blood Lord. Um, uh, let's see, we got, we got a life, life gain theme a little bit with, you know, the vampire, the dire moon, the Soren giving your creatures life link, or also sacrificing, dealing three, gaining three. And of course the vengeful blood Lord, the Soren giving all your creatures life link and also, uh, being able to do a damage. So, uh, with the life gain theme, we got bloodthirsty aerialist, another flyer that can grow to be really big. And also Cruel Celebrant, whenever your creatures are dying, can do a little bit of lost life, gained life kind of thing. All right, so that's what our that's our deck. Let's give it a try. Let's see if vampires are strong enough. Just like what we always do with donation decks, we're going to play a league, play till we win five or lose two. Whatever happens first. Ugh. So uh, here we go. Yeah, it's a good replacement for Questing Beast. Um, Shifting Ceratops. Yeah. Shifting Ceratops is a good one. We are going to need lands. All right, we got lands. Um, I think I'm going to put a th one of these thirsting... Bloodlord's back just for curve considerations. Our mana is pretty awkward here too, though. Okay, that makes it better. All right, so we're playing against Simic. I'm going to lead with the Vampire of the Dire Moon because we can attack and gain a life and put a counter on the Aerialist. That's my hope. I like drawing the Dispark a whole lot. Counter, or we get to exile a Nightpack Ambusher. Okay, or not. Get him, Vampire. Vampire of the Dire Moon. Just got to attack 17 more times. We're almost there. Um, not the worst card. Oh, 
That's annoying. That thing doesn't get disparked. I wish I would have kept that other vampire of the dark right now. Basement. Toss a coin. Toss a coin. To your Witcher and a Prime sub to your Witcher. Thank you, Naismith. Our fourth sub of the day. All right, Castle Lock Twain, help us out. Deck's a little bit more powerful than ours, just a little bit. Legion's End. Exiling that Krasis would be nice. If they have absolutely nothing in hand, we still don't win. Depart in Estrad immediately, or you will taste my blade. My bloodline flows through you. <laughs> yeah, that's a feels bad. So Brazen Borrower is actually... That's kind of a problem. And just dodges, grasp, end, and dispark. Could play Mortify also, but... I think we're just going to try to race the Brazen Borrower. All right, what if we go with this? Play Mortify. Don't have the most vampires anymore for Soren. That's okay. We got some. Oh yeah, that's true. We could play this deck in standard Jacob, that's true. deck would be completely legal.
All right, this is a good hand. We got turn one, Evan Legion. Turn two, Duress. Wow, they think so little of my deck, keeping that kind of hand. All right, so Soren, do we want to start ticking up on this knight? Or do I want to drop a Haunt to the High Tower? So I think I can tell you what I want to do. Join my crusade. Join my crusade. I guess I probably could have just I could have just attacked first and they don't block, but if they get rid of the haunt, then I can block and keep the Soren alive. But at that point, if we What are we doing? Discard. Okay. I wanted to keep this up because they ambush her. I know I'm letting them kill Soren, but you know they're focused on killing Soren. I have these things that are killing them. Yeah, the Vampire Lord is still a vampire to help out, like with the Sorens and everything. So I think that's better than Icon of Ancestry. That's not an actual vampire. Did not attack Soren. Interesting. Um, sure. My bloodline flows through you. This is like, this is honestly our perfect hand, right? Like, turn one, Knight of the Ebon Legion, turn two, Duress to protect Soren, Imperius, Bloodlord, and then turn three, Soren, put in Haunt to the High Tower. It's honestly our perfect hand. Yeah. All right, let's do that again. <clears throat> yeah, haunt haunt was awesome. Let's do that again. What set was Haunt printed in? You know, it was a it was a buy a box promo. What what set was it the buy a box promo? Ravnica Allegiance? Yeah, Champion of Dusk rotated out. Yeah, it was Ravnica Allegiance. Okay. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, so yeah, it did yes, you're right. So so it was out before Soren. What am I supposed to do with one landers? I guess Mulligan. Well, Knight of the Ebon Legion is pretty good. I don't know if it's go defeat all seven cards on the other side whenever you don't have three lands to even activate it. Good. But it's pretty good.
Yay. I wonder if they're just gonna play in Frilled Mystics. Not yet. Obviously, the worst case, the, the absolute worst case scenario for me is them drawing Nightpack Ambusher. I feel like they could be a little bit more aggressive if I'm them maybe shocking and attacking for two. Uh, maybe they don't want to be that aggressive actually. But I'm obviously just not going to play spells into the Frilled Mystic, so like, they might as well just play one Frilled Mystic out here, right? And then, like, they could have done that last turn. They could have attacked me back for five. They're just not going to do anything with Paradise Tree or whatever. Maybe Knight of the Evan Legion is good enough to win the game on its own. All right, got to play around Quench. Thirst for life. Go, Knight, go. Go, Knight, go. I definitely should have activated. I don't know. Why am I casting this duress? That's a bad duress cast. So obviously, he's going to get filled mystic. I That was bad. That was bad. I should have just passed. I was thinking, like, they do that, then I kill their thing, but they have the mana for the quench still anyway. That was bad. All right. I did one. One bad decision there this game, but all the other decisions I've made have been perfect. And we're on the verge of winning. Yeah, not pumping. Um, yeah. Okay, never mind. Two bad decisions. All the all the rest have been perfect. My bloodline flows through here. Like minus three here. I'm not saying I'm making person decisions anymore. Should I just like minus three put the vampire into play? The problem with doing that is then my sworn would be at three loyalty.
Vampires beating Simic Flash. Knight of the Ebon Legion is awesome. And they just had it. You know, like the Duress was clutch. You know, Duress getting rid of that Nissa was super clutch. Yeah, I mean, it dep depends, Axor. Yeah, I could have, I could have, yeah, I could have uh, tried killing the Frilled Mystic before blocks and try to go for lethal. You know, they could have had, you know, they could have negate, you know, from the cards that we knew about, that would have worked, but doesn't mean it necessarily would have worked. And I, I thought it was just safe to just let them jump block, you know, like we were, we were in a really good spot. Just basically, I didn't feel like I was forced to try to, um, try to finish the game right there. <laughs> Papa Bank said, quote, I don't think this that this knight is going to be good enough to beat their whole seven cards. Wrong. <laughs> Most wrong man alive in 2020. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was. I mean, it wouldn't even be, been that bad if they had Brazen Borrower. Or, yeah, I guess, oh, going for, like, trying to go for the kill. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, we basically just didn't need to. So they had double, double stage to light up. Why they why they double light up the stage? I guess. I guess it worked out for them though, because now they get to attack. Rimrock Knight. But when you when you light up the stage the first time and you exile Steamkin and then you're like, okay, well the next turn I have to cast the Steamkin. Do you want to throw another light up the stage that's probably gonna just get spells that you have to exile? You can't play everything. You only have three mana the next turn. You know two is going to Steamkin. Steamkin super scary. Yay. No Torbran. <laughs> Weak. Do some respect. <clears throat> <laughs> I see the the scorch spitter ember cleave. <clears throat> Castle's annoying. Castle Emberth's gonna be really annoying. I'm trying to kill the Scorch Bitter now.
All right, blocking here. If they want to pump the Fervent Champion to have it stay alive, that means they're not pumping the Embercleave card. Oh, it's just a shock. <laughs> Ember Scorch. Dude, Ember Scorch is scary. It's hit me like three times already, and I'm at like ten. Scorch Spitter could be an underground rapper name. Oh, Steamkin Frenzy. I don't know if I'm supposed to attack there. Attack there, I you know put them down to ten, I go to eleven. Yeah, yeah, they're still yeah, they're just lifelink on my turn. Both like both Sorens only give lifelink on my turn. Alright, back at 15. Why didn't I keep this vampire? Would have been able to lifelink block. Yeah, good thing we got the Steamkin out of there, though, because, you know, like, they would have been able to add even more mana with Steamkin now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, because this Soren says your Planeswalkers have lifelink, and so then this Soren uh, deals the three damage, so that has lifelink, and then you gain three. So yeah, you gain. So yeah, we gain six life with this Soren's second plus one because of the other Soren. Because yeah, we were at three last turn, and then we went up to to fifteen. They have to block all of these. They're all lethal. 
They have to block them all. But now we have this huge haunt of the high tower. They didn't block all of them. They were all lethal. The blood is the life. Because <clears throat> the Soren dealt four damage, because Grill Celebrant. That was a sweet game. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, how are you doing, bud? Okay, so you couldn't couldn't work. So yeah. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, your hands doing better today. All right, we want an extra Legion's End. Dispark gets rid of Embercleave and Frenzy. Oh, Devout Decree, obviously. So I kind of want to play Dispark still. Embercleave and Frenzy seem pretty important to kill. Maybe just play one, though. Could play Mortify that destroys, you know, like a... One of their creatures and also kills Frenzy. I don't know. Everything... Like, my vampires looked pretty good there. Probably want to keep our vampires in. Yeah, I mean, Haunt, Haunt is basically only good if you have Soren. But still... But it's it's amazing if you have Soren though, because it's a huge flying lifelink creature. And it can just win the game. Maybe Aerialist is too slow. It is a big flying creature also. But it's not like it's not lifelink on its own. I guess I could cut Midnight Reaper. I think I'll take out a vampire of the dire moon. And honestly, I'm going to trim a Knight of the Oven Legion. These cards get shocked. I like cards that don't get shocked. I'm going to keep this even though we don't have white mana. Um, we got this card. One of, if not, my best card. Oh, we got the combo. We got the combo. Boo. Definitely looks like they have shock. Obviously. <clears throat> yep. Can we stay live long enough to combo? I mean, well, yeah, but... Now, their deck's pretty difficult to, to double block. Um, they're playing a, a lot of the... They're playing a lot of the adventure creature. 
uh, the pumps, they got these castles, they got shocks. It's it's difficult to block these things, honestly. Wow. Combo. I guess that animation with Haunt of the High Tower is so cool. That is so cool. Yes, dual lands are, are very good things to craft. Yes. Trigger. Can't forget your triggers. Gonna make my life difficult. All right, so if I attack, it turns into a five-five. I deal five. Amber cleave was rough. I obviously can't sit back because not only like you know, like the Scorch Spitter damage and the Fervent Champion, but I'm still just barely dead. Yeah, because I have to attack as a first strike and Scorch Spitter, but because of Castle Embrith, you know, Castle Embrith's just gonna kill me. <clears throat> Almost raced him. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, I get rid of Embercleave, but there's still this is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, third. Or let's see, eight, ten, twelve. It's still twelve damage. Like these are all like three ones because the castle. I guess even without the red castle, they still had had eight damage. So that's kind of like the problem with these things. Like the first strike, they they don't block. But maybe, yeah, maybe we take out an aerialist. Um, I need to draw these legions ends. Legions end would have been so great that game. All right, turn three combo too slow on the draw. What about on the play? All right, yeah, maybe I do take out these aerialists. Play one drops instead. All right, well, on the play, Soren Haunt, we'll give it a try. Hope hope our first turn we draw any card that costs two or less. I guess except for Dispark. So anything we can cast on turn two, which is a lot of stuff in our deck. You know, we got our 8-1 drops. We have our 4-2 drops. And then 
seven two mana removal spells. So we got 19 draws here. Nope. I need you last turn. Well, I guess we're not we're not playing that anyway on turn two, because they didn't play a one drop. What if I just tick up Soren instead of minus three? Think about minus three. Maybe it's easy for them to kill the Haunt of the High Tower. What if we just tick up? Got a five loyalty. It's kind of difficult to do a lot of damage there. Kind of difficult. Wells Dragon, join that minus 500 club. Lighten up the stage. Because it looks like we just got plenty of time to cast this Haunt of the High Tower with six mana. And so we can just kind of make them make them use a lot more stuff to try to kill, you know, kill my Soren and, and everything like that. The act of a coward. My bloodline flows through you. Because, <clears throat> you know, like, we're still at 16. We're about to be playing our big flying lifelinker. Hopefully Soren's still around to put it, even another counter on it, make, make it a 4-4 right away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a large uh oh. That was that was the card. That's definitely the card I was probably scared of the most. Dang. Dang, I felt really good about this until that Tor brand. I felt really good about this before that. 
So right now I have the Castle Art and Veil that can make a 1-1 one -one to block this Rimrock Knight. So I'm not just taking five. Looks like I need to save this Devout Decree. <clears throat> Alright, we've gone through 10 lands. There's only... There's only 24 in the deck. So there's only 14 more in the next 45 cards. So, so stop drawing lands. So obviously that means Ember Cleave, and that means I'm dead. And Torbrand just dominated this game. But you know, they have their four lands rest spells. That's really disappointing. Yeah, I guess I guess I should not have cast that devout decree. Oh, that four three was you know pretty threatening, but obviously I should not have. Disappointing game. Yeah, High Tower on three definitely would have died. They played Shock, Shock, Bone Crusher, Giant very shortly afterwards. So like, they definitely were gonna kill the hunt, the hunt of the High Tower on turn three. <clears throat> yeah, this is a good a good match here. Who's Dex more Orzavi? Good 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 match. The Orzov mirror. You know when you're both sitting on a cruel celebrant, it's gonna be a good time. I don't think I minus and let them. Or I don't think I attack and let them soar and minus. I was planning on attacking, but you know, after seeing their hand, I don't think I attack and let them trade vampire for celebrant and then soar and bring it back.
I'm not going to Soren minus play it, put in Haunt of the High Tower. They can get rid of Haunt of the High Tower, consume, and then this Soren would tick up and kill my Soren. That's that's not the play. It's either play Soren, tick up on Vampire of the Dire Moon, or it's play Midnight Reaper. I'm do this. So I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Casually queuing into Vamp's mirror in standard. I don't know, they just bring that back. Ugh, but then I, if they minus three, then I get to kill their Soren at least. I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do there. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like what I did, basically. Okay, so we're gonna kill their Soren. Um, yeah, sound sound should be working. So we get to kill our Soren. Yeah, we can't do two, yeah, we can't do two things with Soren. So they they can cast consume and then I have to sacrifice the Midnight Reaper. But I kind of wouldn't mind them doing that. So I'm going to have some bigger flyers here soon. Obviously, the Seraph can the Seraph could trade with one of the bigger flyers. So that they can kill my Soren now, you know, just attack out. Okay. 
Okay. Not sure exactly what I'm doing with that yet. Oh no. Wait, why did they pay the additional cost? I guess they wanted they'd rather draw a card than have Midnight Reaper in play. Really? Sack the celebrant. Priest gonna kill me. <laughs> hey, Haunted Haunt did, did some good work before. I mean, they just you know like they had an empty they had an empty hand when I played the Haunted the High Tower. It was it looked good, but then they just drew a you know they just drew immediately drew a removal spell for it. I mean what I mean. No attack with Seraph. Oh, poor opponent. They clicked too much. They clicked through attacks. They draw a spell they can play. Please not. Looks like it. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it personally. Make yourself useful. Gotta get rid of this priest. And Strangely enough, because we have the aerialist and kind of like where our life total is, I kind of feel like having the Cruel Celebrant, um, like basically to fight their Cruel Celebrants, I kind of feel like keeping that a around is the way to go. You know, like we have the castle, so like having, having more life is definitely valuable. Oh no, they drew a castle. <clears throat> oh my gosh. They, did, they have been drawn very well. Every time I like think that like all right, well now we look good, and then they dr immediately have removal spell, immediate removal spell. If I block one of their creatures, I take three damage. Hey, Storm. What's up? 
Yeah, this is going to be really difficult to deal with all these Cruel Celebrants, honestly. I, I do have two Legion's Ends in the deck. Fine, I can pay four mana for Castle Lock Twain. I basically have to draw Legion's End for Cruel, Cel for Cruel Celebrant right now. Like, I can't even block these. I mean, if they attack out, if they attack out, I can't block anything. So three, four, five, six. I go down to two. Next turn, I gain four. Dude, I am just dead. Yeah, why did, I should have just activated this. I need I need to draw. It. Yeah, because I'm I'm just dead here. Would have been uh, just spark. I need to draw Legion's End. Yes, correct. Die means go to the graveyard. The token doesn't go to the graveyard, but still it it still like dies and would be sent to the graveyard, but then it's just you know not a not a card anymore. It's not a permanent or anything. Like it it would still act as going to the graveyard. It basically something being destroyed. died means something being destroyed. Yeah. If it gets destroyed, that means it dies. Those are the, I guess those are the same same terminology. Sarah of the Scales is super annoying. Wait, Decree Exiles stuff. Decree is just going to be an upgrade on Dispark. Maybe still want a little bit of both. All right, getting a lot of exile in. The size of our vampires isn't that important as far as Thirsting Bloodlord goes. <laughs> Overboot too. Uh, cool. Yeah, glad. Yeah, glad you enjoyed. You really enjoyed watching it. Um, it didn't. Uh, has it? Didn't get very many views. You know, like. Uh, let's see. You know, yesterday the two standard, or the three standard decks got. 1800 2000 and 4000 as far as views and from yesterday overcooked two got the two videos one got 540 and the other got 340 views so you know not not great but I think, but they, they also, they, you know, got, got a good amount of comments and people seem to really like them. 
Oh, I meant to play Soren first. Well, now I will. Let's just pump this then. Yeah, I still think that. I'll, yeah, I still definitely think that we're gonna just keep on keep on doing that. Cause yeah, it was just a fun a fun thing. Uh, it's definitely more of a weekend. Yes, I should be playing Temple of Silence. Because <laughs> well, Boot can only do Friday Saturday night because he's got to go. He's got to uh, go to bed earlier the other nights. Gets up early for work, kind of thing. So can only do Friday Saturday nights. I that's something that I can still do just kind of normally, you know, different nights. Like if I'm, if I feel like just playing a video game, I was, I'm thinking about doing uh, Zelda: Link's Awakening on there because I think that's going to be like a round of twenty hour game, and you know, can do so could do that over a few weeks. Double Seraph of the Scales. I only have... We don't have the lands. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, definitely better boot for sure. Uh huh, thanks, Gendis. But yeah, yeah, so we had a lot, you know, Kendis said I loved watching it because he looked like he was enjoying it so much. Yeah, we had just had a, a whole lot of fun with it. So if um, even those those y'all watching on YouTube later on right now, I, I hope you check it out. I mean, obviously, I could. I obviously, I could put the the counter on the five six to give it life link, but it, of course, they're just blocking, and I want to spread around the wealth, you know, and, and make it so it's not just one huge creature because they can block so easily. You need to make multiple threats. <laughs> Get a bark command. Bark. Yeah, Link's Awakening. Remake. I was thinking about doing that. Blood calls to your soul. So yeah, I have it set up to be able to do it now. Um, this is a real busy time for me. I'm trying to purchase and close down a house within the month. Um, so I've been super busy. So it's at least something like after I move, whenever I settle down more, I'll be able to do that more too. I mean, if they activate priest. I have two very large attackers here still. They gotta have another blocker. They gotta draw one, at the very least. Play Seraph. I, that's all I want is for them to play Seraph with the scales. I think Hawkeye's still just kind of improving. I, I am. I'm def. Yeah, I'm happy about how he's doing. Still has that runny nose, of course, but. So that's still there. But he's eating better. Yeah, I just can't get through. I need trample. I need an embercleave. Thirst for life. 
Wait, that doesn't count? So whenever, so dying, so the tokens don't go to the graveyard, right? Because it says whenever a card goes to a graveyard. That didn't happen. <clears throat> Alright, I guess I should have just sacrificed my knight and killed the priest. I guess I should have just done that. Like a long time ago. I guess I need to just kill this priest. Yeah. I could have to. Goes to the graveyard, but not a card. Yeah, it's, that's that's where I, that's the thing that I messed up with this game is I never never killed that priest. I should have just sacrificed something a long time ago to do that. Do I sack? Why do I have to draw Haunt to the Height Tower? Uh, do I sack my best creature to kill a priest? Do we have a bowl of citadel in here? No, we just have the midnight reaper. The blood is Should have done that a long time ago. Got them from drawing those cards and everything. Ow. What is one life to save many? Unfortunately, we're drawing our best vampires. But yeah, they're gonna—they're just gonna die anyway. I—I I now see the folly of my ways from earlier in this game. I wish I would have played it differently. No, I think that like I have like basically any vampire could kill the Midnight Reaper, and they do—they do get to draw one card. But their random card that they draw is not going to be nearly as good as Seraph. Seraph of the Scales is just so hard to deal with. I, I have to exile that when I can.
<clears throat> Just waiting to die. But if I would have killed their priest a very long time ago, this would have been a completely different game. I just never, I never did that. Fighting through stuff. What is one life to save many? All right, I don't have to just keep sacrificing my vampires now immediately. Oh yeah, castle. Yeah, castle would be great. Either castle would be great. White or black. Or a swamp. Draw Seraph. Okay. Why sacrifice creatures? Because if I don't sacrifice the creature, then they just use. Then use, they use their Priest of Forgotten Gods and make me sacrifice my creature, and then they get to draw a card. So, like, the creature's gonna die anyway, and we're gonna... And so, it's good to just trade with their Priest of Forgotten Gods. Alright, they bricked. First in a top deck war. Go to us. Alright, we brick. Back to them. Oh, you're talking about the opponent. Why? Yeah, why are they sac? Yeah, maybe they don't realize that they could just spend more mana on their card. That's a, yeah, that's a good question. Why they're doing that? Yeah, the castle locked Wayne probably locks this up. Needs more card draw. They they went down. <laughs> they have twenty two cards left in their library. I have thirty two. They drew lots of cards. Do they have command the dread horde? <laughs> Looks like they have command the dread horde. And they're gonna take both my Sorens. Yep. Well, this is bad. At least I have two removal spells. Oh, they just took a Soren and a Knight. And then get back Midnight Reaper. Get back Priest. 
hablas. Well, I got two good scries. Scry two lands down to the bottom. So that's good. Scry three lands down to the bottom. All right, so that worked out. Go haunt go. Oh man. Okay. Oh, so they only get to activate once. Wow. So they're still taking lethal. They only get to activate once. They need one more, one more land. They just the midnight reaper doesn't doesn't matter, but they just get to block one of these. Go down to three, and then a sacrifice the vampire. Thank you for your service. They need two blockers. <clears throat> okay. They have Ethereal Absolution also? Dang. All right, gonna bring in another to Spark. We had two Disparks for two. We had both of our Disparks, or well, we had, whatever. We, we got to Dispark a couple Seraph of the Scales. I guess we only Disparked one and then we had the other Exile for the other, but I thought we were pretty fortunate with that. Um, I mean, Mortify is fine. I mean, it, it can kill their one, two. I mean, a lot of their stuff isn't that great to kill. To destroy like that's what the exile is really the most valuable thing that we got so yeah they're at 10 minutes i'm at 14. we got soaring combo problem with I guess I just I guess I'm not supposed to attack with knight I was kind of thinking about it whenever I was attacking the problem with attacking is that now if they use removal on haunt of the high tower then they have yay the ability to kill Soren see the spark does what I everything that I want
Okay. <laughs> yeah, haunt would it, haunt of, if haunt of the high tower cost three mana, it would it would definitely be playable. A three mana, three three flying lifelink that grows very easily and very fast, and also whenever you attack, they have to discard a card. Like it's already, it's already a six six. They're already dead. They killed the Knight of the Ebon Legion, and they should have killed the Haunt of the High Tower. All right, well there goes Haunt of the High Tower. That was a good draw for them. Get that gain seven. Oh, you can hear Hawkeye. He's sneezing back there. Poor kid cat. I bestow a mighty curse. So they can't. Yeah, I was gonna say they they can trade with uh, Midnight Reaper. I wanted to incentivize them not doing that by putting the counter over on the Knight of the Evan Legion instead of the Aerialist. Uh, he had <clears throat> he had some teeth removed. Welcome to the family. Oh wait, they're legendary. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I was like I was like so excited. I got to have two Haunt of the High Towers in play. I was so excited. <laughs> it's harder to see that legendary border. <laughs> In black than other colors. That's my excuse. Because <laughs> it's the Haunt of Hightower. It's not just any Haunt of Hightower. Obviously, I had lethal there. I guess I could could have just killed him. I did have lethal by just by just sack. Deal three, play the other Soren, sack deal three. I guess I should just do that. We should probably just win the game. I just want to say good game. That was a good game. That was a very good game. All right, two and one. That was a very long game. Yeah, that was a real fun Orzhov battle. That was good. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was looking bad for us for a little bit there in game two. I eventually stopped being stubborn. 
started sacking all my things and killed all their Priest of Forgotten Gods. And then they ran out of cards, and then I drew a castle. Soren combo! <clears throat> I don't need to trade yet because trading after Midnight Reaper helps me out and also trading after um, Haunts of High Towers in play also helps me out. Um, this isn't good. This is not good. I want all these cards. I'm gonna go and just make sure we have combo. <laughs> the submit zero button was wasn't grayed out. All right, more Orzov battles. Isn't this a good trade for me? <clears throat> the mask is scary. But underneath, I'm just so this just has to attack. Pick your brain for struggling. Good. This is but a taste of my power. All right, grow on the haunt of the high tower. So they have a four four flample, but I got an even larger haunt. Um, so I can trade. I can trade Cruel Celebrant and Knight of the Ebon Legion to kill Spawn. Oh wait, I guess that doesn't really work, does it? Our fates thirst for life. I guess we just can't kill Spawn. Unless they block. Yeah, we got Flink, they got Flample. Link vs. Flample. No. My haunt. My haunt. You're sending the haunt of Hightower to prison? Their flample's getting big. But I think we got this. All right. 
Going to game number two. Alright, so they, they're going Prison Realm. I should play Mortify. Um... Yeah, Decree and Dispark. Not sure what I want to do with this. If I want all these Disparks this time. All right, gonna take out the Thirsting Blood Lord again. That's my card to take out, I think. And to bring in some interaction. <laughs> Opponent about to add Haunt to their deck after this match. <laughs> I honestly don't know which one is better to lead off with. We'll go this. For this matchup, you know, like, I, I don't know which one I'm supposed to lead off with. I guess I let, should have led with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. I don't really want to trade there. Soren can pump up the Vampire of the Dire Moon to be a 2 2. Ugh. I was afraid of that card, though. This is why I wanted to lead with the Vampire. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the feast. Empty your mind. Ow. All I've left you is dead. I know that's not a good use of Devout Decree, but then being a discard deck, I just want to get the card out of my hand. And then I'm also wasting one point of damage to put the life link on the aerialist so it will grow twice. So we'll get two more counters. If I put the counter over on the vampire, we get to do two damage to them, but then our aerialist only gets one counter. But to be fair, we're getting like a, another creature that's also a threat with the dire moon, and right now it's kind of just aerialist as a threat. So actually, let's grow this. Because if they're just going to sit back in removal and kill the aerialist. unfortunate because you know we know they're a nords off deck so they don't have white mana so that's kind of unfortunate they may be like sitting on prison realms and stuff and can't play them i 
GG. Thank you. Yeah, multiple sources of lifelink trigger aerialist multiple times. As we saw there. Alright, so it looks like we're king of the Orzov decks. We can safely say. <clears throat> before we lose the Orzov deck this next round. The Soren's been incredible. It's definitely the best card in our deck. Jeez. This is Kaigo, nothing left. Doesn't mean we're shocking twice, but we got a lot of life gain and everything. Castle Embereth. Our loss was mono red. Never mind the Castle Embereth planes. Uh, we're going to be killing that. Um, let's go and scry. <clears throat> Midnight Reaper, you're good. Your life blood is sweeter than mine. Man, so and so good. This turns all your vampires into removal spells. Uh oh. That thing's scary. Hmm. That's not a good block. I've seen a good block in my day, and that was not one of them. Not a good block. I'm less scared of our opponent's deck now. Our deck's doing some pretty cool stuff, though. Dragon fire, soaring down.
Soren down. Yeah, I think our opponent is just starting playing arena. I'm just going to play Mortify instead of Dispark. Um, doesn't really seem like maybe we need to spark anything. We'll just play a couple Mortifies instead. Hey, we got a new sub, Litterms, with that tier 1 sub. Thank you so much there, Litterms. doing it. They're doing it. If my opponent attacks, I am not going to block. I'm not going to trade here. I'm going to take two. Because I want to have both of these creatures in play for to grow my Aerialist. And make that a larger Bloodthirsty Aerialist. <clears throat> against, mount against mountains. Dang, they just had a land that was a removal spell. That land killed my killed my one one. I will have revenge for House Marco. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Yeah, yeah, they're a Boros deck. I don't know if they played any white cards. Even last game when they had all the planes, I don't think they played any white cards. None that I remember. Alright, does Ariel let's get it done? Looks like it. And it looks like we're gonna be going to the final boss.
All right, final boss time. We are four and one with vampires. Let's go. I wonder if the, the pairings, does it look at, you know, like us playing, you know, like just all these vampires and then we get paired against non-tier one decks, you know, like we haven't been playing against the, the tier one decks too much here. I wonder if there is any kind of pairing with that. Is that a thing? We did, yeah, Simic Flash. We got paired against Simic Flash. But we got Thirsting Bloodlord, and they're they're like, okay, you got Thirsting Bloodlord in your deck. I hope they don't have uh, Swamp Legion's End. Alright, they ramping. Oh no, Choco. Bill's lost. No. Uh -oh. Ouch. Does the refs? Oh man, that's the worst. Dang, I'm sorry, Choco. <laughs> you like more of the, the cooking game, Mike? Uh, I guess not next week. Maybe the week after next. Thirsting Bloodlord? Yeah, there, there's not any in standard um, for Mono White Life Gain in the current standard metagame. Historic, there's enough cards in Historic for you to make a deck like that, and so that's that's what our life gain deck was with historic but standard there's there's just not um uh next yeah with the next set with theros i know heliod has some life gain stuff but i don't really know about like the i don't really know like the whole rest of the set and everything so i don't i don't know if there's enough stuff i would be i would honestly be surprised if there was but there could be. I, I don't know. I feel like I've attacked them so much and we finally got them down to 16. Never mind. 19. Are they just gonna go like Realm Cloak Giant and blow up my board? Or are they just playing like the Arboreal Grazer, Gilded Goose, Realm Cloak Giant deck? Oh, it's a ferocious pup! Oh, look at that pup! It's so ferocious. It 
this little pup. Aww. It's so cute. This is the little pup. My opponent, what a monster. What are you doing? You're blocking with the pup? No, don't block with the pup. No, little pup. I would never block the pup. Never gonna get into combat with a little pup. Never use a removal spell on that thing. Okay. Sideboard. We didn't really see anything. So... They gotta be ramping into something. They gotta have Wicked Wolves, right? Yeah. Yeah, they gotta have Wicked Wolves. And... Yeah, let's just get all these Disparks in here. Yeah, they're, they're, they gotta be playing that in Tulsimer. Oh, they are grass. Or yeah, they are green white. I could just play grasp. True. Oh well. I'm going with the. I'm going with all the disparks though because they exile wicked wolf. Like where. You know, grass doesn't necessarily kill. The wicked wolf. All right, so we got Soren combo. Main reason why we're keeping this, we just got draw land. And then we got turn three haunt. We got the real ferocious pup over here. Maybe the Tree ferocious pup? No, it doesn't work. Join my crusade. Boo. Basically doing that to grow the air list to be a 3-4 so it doesn't die to Wicked Wolf or Tulsimer. Yeah, werewolves versus vampires. Wolves versus vampires. 
Oh, what's the movie with werewolves versus vampires? What? Underground? No. Underworld? Underworld. Yeah, we got some underworld here. Yeah, underworld. Like Kate Beckinsale? Is that right? Is that the right Kate? Yeah, I guess Twilight. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked that that movie, that uh, Underworld movie, whenever it came out. I think that was like, I think I was in high school at the time. Really liked that movie. the The sequels I didn't like as much, but they were they weren't bad. But I really liked the original. Sequels, I don't know. Now that I think about it, wasn't that movie just Romeo Juliet? He's the first one. Maybe I should keep the other Soren. This Soren should be dying here. Oh, oh, you like the prequel? The flashback Underworld was good? The prequel one? That was like the last one they did, right? Man, yeah, there's true blood. Wait, what's the difference between true blood and twilight? Are this do they have like the same storyline? Is true is true blood just the adult twilight wait why'd you why'd you fight with your poor puppy dog poor pup poor puppy dog didn't need to fight there Y'all are, uh, listen to all the other vampire movies. We have Blade, Interview with a Vampire, Blackula, Dracula. All right. Orza Vampires with the 5 1. Not gonna lie, we faced a lot of jank. But we did beat Simic Flash. Our one tier one deck that we faced, we won. We lost to Mono Red. There we go, get the victory fanfare going. So we beat Simic Flash. That was an awesome match. That first match, that was awesome. Then we lost to Mono Red, where I thought we were going to be able to pull it off, but then they had Torbrand, and then I was like, oh no. Because I thought our Hanta Hightower was going to take over, but Torbrand got us. Um, and then we played two Orzhov Mirrors and a couple of real good games, especially the, that one match. We had like that awesome, really long game, too. Um, so some really good games there. And then we played two janky decks to finish it out. Um, and that's a 5-1. We did it.
we did it. Um, so yeah, the, the deck the deck played well. I liked it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if there's really anything to change too much after just those games. Uh, like the Disparks were awesome. They came in clutch a lot. Soren Imperius Bloodlord, of course, was just so good. And I liked how we had four Soren, four Haunt of the High Tower, so we could have Soren combo uh, more reliably here. Uh, this was Panda's deck. Yeah, Panda made this deck. Um, but yeah, we got Soren back in standard. That was cool. That was fun. That was a fun one there. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and... Uh, you know, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of Vampires in Standard. This did very well for us there. Yeah, High Tower was good. Just a, a good deck. Knight of the Ebon Legion, obviously amazing. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right, so thank you so much for watching some more Zoff Vampires, and I'll see you for the next video.